Now we're going to turn to the very latest twist in the Manti Teo story and the elaborate love hoax. We are hearing more now from the man who duped the Notre Dame football star. Ronai Tui Sosopo is opening up about the relationship he had with Teo. ABC's Lindsay Davis has the details. In an exclusive interview with Dr. Phil, Renaya Tuesa Sopo, the confessed mastermind behind the Manti Teo girlfriend hoax, refuses to recreate the female voice he says he used during hundreds of hours of phone conversations with the Notre Dame star linebacker. I love you so much. I can't, even if I tried. There's a whole lot that went into pushing me to do something like that, to go to that extreme. Even if I try, it doesn't come off right. Dr. Phil keeps pushing, saying he had the voicemails analyzed. The chance that you are the person on that voicemail is like one in 10 million. I've never done it in front of people. I was in a dark room. I just don't want to do it on with all these cameras. But no topic to seems off that, limits from know, his sexuality. I would say, yeah, I'm gay. But honestly, I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so lost and I'm just finding me. To what Teo really knew. Manti had, he had no idea. Tuessa Sopo explains how it all began. Teo friending a person he thought was a woman named Lene, not knowing Tuessa Sopo was the man behind this picture. All of my energy went into this. Um, as twisted and as confusing as it may be, um, yeah, I mean, I cared for this person. And as to why he chose to kill off Lene, the woman Teo called the love of his life on the very day Teo's grandmother died? That morning when he hit me with that, I just said, you know, I'm here for you. Um, I'll support you. I'm praying for your family. He went on further and said, no, I don't need you. It hit me like a brick wall. Like I was like, whoa. And so right then and there, I made the decision. I can't do this Lene thing anymore. And, and I ended it.